folks, it's your local mechanic here, and well, we're we're still diagnosing this here engine that we've been, been diagnosed with, trying to figure out what's going on with it. So now now we're gonna have to get this here oil filter off to to see if there's anything in the oil filter. So first thing we got to do, we we gotta we gotta get some oil filter tools like this one. So you don't necessarily have to have tools like this made for oil filters, but but it helps. It it does help. Um, and sometimes they you got ones that go on the end, you know, when you put a ratchet on and, and those help. So we'll, so we'll try to get this thing loose. We're, we're going to try to get this thing loose. So sometimes you, you got you to gotta get a different tool to, to, to get them loose. So we'll... Hmm. You don't necessarily have to use an air hammer to get an oil filter off, but it helps. It it does help. And see, there, there you go, folks. The that. That's, that's how you get the oil filter off. So now we're going to check it out and see, see if anything's in there. You don't, you don't necessarily have to check it for contaminants, but it, it does help. It helps. Look at that. Looks like another perfect fit. Well, that, that's not the reason why uh, the oil filter is going on. So come back with us. Uh, Hang on, folks. Hang on. You don't necessarily have to replace your gloves, but, well, it helps. It does help. So, so uh, obviously, that, that that wasn't the problem with, with um, what's going on there. Everything looked good there. So, um, uh, well, we're... we're we're gonna figure out what else we have to do to diagnose this thing. Um, and just figure out what, what our next step is gonna be. So, so come, come back with us and we'll do it again. Thanks folks.